For the past two to three years, I've had home buyers telling me the exact same thing over and over again. Everything is too expensive. The market is too competitive. When can I buy a home without having to go through a bidding war? It seemed like the longer you waited, the higher real estate prices became. Well, I'm here to tell you that if you've been sitting on the sidelines, the red hot real estate market is finally showing signs of cooling off. And right now, one of the best types of real estate to start looking into is actually what most people would least expect new construction homes. What's up everyone, local realtor Kevin Quo here. Welcome to my channel where we talk about home ownership around Pasadena, California and the greater Los Angeles area. If you have goals of buying, selling or renting, leave me a message down below and my partners and I would love to help you achieve your real estate goals. Now, in the last few years, home builders really had the upper hand in determining who gets to buy, when their homes will sell, and what prices they will sell at. Especially in Southern California where I live, I've seen everything from requiring home buyers to enter into lotteries to win the chance to buy a home, to auctioning off parcels of land that haven't even been built yet. They were able to get away with this because housing demand was at all-time highs, interest rates and housing supply were at all-time lows, and there were really no other options buyers had other than to jump through hoops to buy a property. Well guess what, the tide is changing and those days are coming to an end. In the last few months, recent hikes in interest rates, inflation concerns, and everything else that's happening in our economy right now have basically flipped the housing market on its head and buyer demand is slowing down significantly. According to a June 20th article of the Orange County Register, Los Angeles County home buying cooled by 16% in May as rising prices and soaring mortgage rates pushed up housing payments by 37%. Existing single family homes sold were down 16% year over year. Existing condos sold were down 15% and newly built homes were down 29% compared to this time last year. Now that home buyer demand is slowing, home prices cannot keep rising for much longer. I think we're coming to a point where you're gonna see prices plateau and then gradually decline for years to come. The senior property economist at Bloomberg News states in a recent article that property prices could contract an annual 5% by the middle of next year. So what does any of this have to do with new construction? You have to understand the difference between traditional sellers selling their home and builders selling a newly built property is holding power. Unlike traditional home sellers who may have paid off their homes or if they bought recently are enjoying a low fixed rate 30 year mortgage, builders do not have the luxury of just holding onto their properties and renting them out. Builders have huge construction loans that accumulate interest over time with due dates that they have to pay back. Imagine having to pay tens, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars every month just in interest payments. The longer a home sits without being sold, the more loan interest a builder will have to pay, which was fine in the past because real estate kept on going up. But under the current scenario, if real estate prices really start declining from here on out into the foreseeable future, the longer a property sits unsold, the lower the builder will have to sell their homes in the future. And big builders like Lenar, one of the nation's largest home builders, are already seeing the effects of the changing real estate market on its future production orders. According to a June 21st article of the Bloomberg News, rapidly rising mortgage rates and economic headwinds have depressed new orders and buyer traffic in June and increased deal cancellations. For now, Lennar is sticking to its earlier forecast for deliveries of about 68,000 homes in its full fiscal year. If you look on the Lennar website, the majority of homes in the San Gabriel Valley, Los Angeles Gateway region, they are either coming soon or still under construction. Unless the real estate market turns around, builders know they need buyers to lock in prices on their inventory as soon as possible. What I think is gonna happen is that as you see more new construction sit on the market for 50, 60, 70 days, you're gonna gradually see more new construction except price cuts as builders gradually switch to a more lenient first come first serve mentality, which will open up new opportunities for all those who are ready and able to purchase. Besides selling for below asking price, things like free interior upgrades, bonus room upgrades, discounts on purchasing the model home, or even discounts on purchasing the best locations in the community. These things, which would have been unheard of a year ago, will gradually go up for negotiation. And the best part is time is working against them and working for you. Now, that doesn't mean you can just sit back and wait for prices to hit rock bottom. 
A thing to take note is that the Federal Reserve is expected to continue raising interest rates. So keep in close contact with your lender to make sure you're actually comfortable with the monthly payments at current interest rates. Also, homes with the best locations, features and benefits will be snatched up by other buyers. So you also need to keep watch of the real estate market so you can grab the right home when it comes up. That's where me and my partners come in. I work with partners servicing all over Southern California and we can negotiate the best deal on your behalf. Now you may be thinking, what if you want to buy somewhere like where I live in Pasadena, where there are very few new construction homes. If you're buying in an older, more established community, you may see more fully renovated existing homes done by small mom and pop investors. This is not the same as buying a brand new home. New homes are built completely from the ground up and have builder warranties that cover things like appliances, paint and finishes, irrigation and plumbing for the first year, and roofing and major structural issues for up to 10 years. When you buy a home that's been flipped or remodeled, you won't have any of these warranties. And it's very hard to tell how well a home is remodeled with just a standard home inspection. If there are no new construction in your market, pay attention to the more expensive luxury homes with high days on market over 45 days. I believe that as the real estate market shifts, much like new construction, the more expensive luxury homes will be the first to see their prices decline as they lose negotiation power. Guess what, I've already seen this start happening with more expensive homes in the San Gabriel Valley. I showed a 1.4 million duplex a month ago, the prices on the more expensive side for that area being on the market for 60 days. The seller's agent actually called me back and told me if my buyer was able to go for 1.35, we can have it in escrow tomorrow. Now, a year ago, this would never happen. The listing agent would never call back, the market price would just go up and the home will probably sell at their asking price eventually. I believe that if you focus on saving up your down payment, keeping up your income, there will be lots of buying opportunities up ahead. So what do you think about what's going on with real estate around Southern California? Please comment down below if you agree or disagree with my opinions. Check out my other videos about living around Pasadena and the greater Los Angeles area on my channel and subscribe to get updates on all new videos every time one comes out. Until next time, goodbye.